Fun facts about Marshall Islands. Taxis charge a fixed price of $1 to everywhere within downtown, and it's only a shared taxi. Page 141 of 1 million miles. I'm on my way to visit every single country in the world, and I really enjoy discovering fun facts about each of the countries that I visited. Marshall Islands has a special place at my heart. There's no direct flight from the mainland of the United States or Asia. Here, I carpool with the locals as a solo female traveler in the middle of nowhere, visit local people's home, meet the president of the country. with the question, where is Marshall Islands? It consists of 1,225 islands located in the Central Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and the Philippines. It is one of the youngest countries in the world, and it just became independent in 1986. And it's only a total of 70 square miles, which is one-fourth of the size of Singapore. From the sky where I was flying in, I can see it's almost the same level as the ocean. And it's a serious threat of a rising sea level due to global warming. The country uses US dollar as their official currency. While my previous island trips to Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, they all use different currencies, which I have to do more exchange work. The country is so isolated in the middle of nowhere I can only fly in here from other neighboring islands like Ponape. When I first heard of this place called Ponape, I don't even know where it is or how to even pronounce it. Do you guys know about Ponape by the way before watching this video? So Ponape is where they serve the flight once a week or you can fly in from the biggest hub which is Honolulu. It's actually just under 5 hours but it cost me more than $1200 just for one way, once in a lifetime experience, right? Do you guys know there are only about like 60,000 people in the entire country? And it's the eighth least populous country in the whole world. It's very easy to know everyone if you stay there for like a month. Right out of the airport, I coupled with three guys to a hotel, and all these three guys are from Pontepe. And there's only two major hotels in Majuro. Majuro is the more metropolitan area. I stay in one of them. But the hotel there is nothing like this. It's a very simple room with no window in the room, but at least they got hot shower because I didn't even get hot shower in other islands that I visited prior to this. So I was very grateful to have a hot shower this time. So how is it like to visit a country in the middle of nowhere? When I arrive at the hotel, I'm asked if I'm a flight attendant. As you can see, there are no tourists come here, so people thought I'm a flight attendant. So what did I do on the tiny island as a solo female traveler? I did five trips to random supermarkets just to look for the most famous local snacks, which is tuna jerky. Fish and coconut oil are their major exports. Most of the supermarkets are run by Chinese, so I can even find more Chinese product here than the US. Since the islands are so far away from all the other countries, the price tag here is high um, because the shipping fee is very expensive. This little bag of tuna jerky costs like $5 and it takes just a couple of bites to finish it. They have good relationship with Japan, so you can see this like the bus stop painted in the blue says funded by the government of Japan. And everywhere in town, the taxi cost is $1. Unless you travel outside of the city, Majuro, which costs like $5. Very interesting to me is that the taxi here are all shared taxi. I'm not sure if you can get a taxi without sharing. At least I didn't get to see when I was there. The driver just pick up many passengers on the way. So I get on one and randomly explore the end of islands. So how is people life like in Marshall Islands? I get to Elma Rita, 
which is the end of island. I meet this cool looking local islander and his name is Galoha with one cross earring on his left ear. I can't really communicate with him but we use body language to hang out together. He poses for me with some of the coolest attitude. Sometimes happiness is just that simple. We just laugh under the sun in front of Pacific Ocean as if no language barrier. stroll into a blue-white church. It's Sunday worship time with big crowd. I met a 13-year-old girl. Her name is the same as me, Ashley, and taking care of her sister while her parents are in the worship. They all wear colorful dresses with flowers in their hair. Unlike the kids like us growing up in the U.S. in Asia, people in Marshall Islands start taking on family responsibility at the age of 13 or even age of 10. After spending time with the native islanders, I'm very lucky to meet the president of Marshall Islands, Hilda Hien. Yes, I even met the president during my trip. She's the first female president in the Pacific Island countries, completed her presidential terms in January 2020. Prior to assuming office, she served as the Minister of Education. She was the first individual in the Marshall Islands to earn a doctorate degree. I was so grateful to meet the president in Marshall Islands. When I first met her, I didn't even know she is the president because everything looked so normal. She was just hanging out with her family and I didn't see any security or anything. But later I found that there's um, two security sitting behind her that is a couple tables behind. So I didn't even get to see them. So she looked very normal, very down to earth. I was so surprised that I actually get to see the president. The president of Marshall Islands. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if I were to name one thing that inspired me the most during my trip in Marshall Islands, that would have to be my encounter with this amazing man who had 11 children and 37 grandchildren. You didn't hear it wrong, it's 37 grandchildren. And later I realized he is the hotel owner. We ended up becoming friends and had a few meals together. He's an amazing entrepreneur since the age of 15 where he started growing animals on a farm. After building all the successful businesses, now he sponsors the annual holiday parades in town and provides food and entertainment for the locals. People here really care about giving back to the community. He invited me to visit his home where I get to see how local home is like. His family members are entrepreneurs as well. All the grandchildren live with him. Final thoughts. After knowing what Marshall Islands is, will I still spend thousands of dollars visiting this less known island? Yes, I would. I didn't regret making so much efforts come here, being inspired by the simple but entrepreneurial stories of the locals. Get to see the president. Today I'm getting black tea crema from Shea Tea. Did you like my video? I hope you found it interesting. Do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share with friends. That will help me sustain my channel. Let me know what you think and that's all for today. I'll see you at the comment section below. Adios!